Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at, in London today for the uh, Vijinda Singh signing press conference for Frank Warren. I'm with the coolest man at the moment with these new glasses on. What is happening, Steve Lillis? I'm taking I'm not that vain. I'm vain, but not that vain. <laughs> Sonny, I'm good, mate. Yeah, I'm good, Sonny. Exciting press conference today, Virginia Singh. Um, fantastic amateur, a lot of years, three Olympic Games. He, he medaled at every major that he, he, he entered. Um, so it's going to be exciting to see how he develops as a professional in this country. He's, he's been here a week. Um, I know what, I, I saw him training Lee Beard's gym last week, and you could tell he still had a lot of amateur traits. But Lee, I know, was very impressive with his natural strength. Um, he said he, he, his jab was, was, was something to behold and he, he really threw it hard and they, they were really surprised at how strong he was a lot of these guys who have been amateurs they turn over and you know the, the strength isn't always there but he has got the natural strength and that that's something that, that they could you know they're excited about of course there's a lot of stuff they've still got to work on though i was talking to lee bid's strength and conditioning partner the guy that does it with him and he said that virginia's punches are like sledgehammers yeah he said they, like, there was he done two he went to do four rounds of sparring with a, with a certain box i'm going to say no names but they, two rounds in, they just pulled their own boxer out. They said this, that he was looking that good and they didn't want to get him hurt. Yeah, I did hear about that last Friday, wasn't yeah. it? As you say, rightly not naming the boxer with respect. But yeah. Um, yeah, I did hear about that. But I saw him do um, a thing with the guy that does the conditioning for Lee. Yeah. And um, they do a thing in that gym where they hold a ball, ball for a minute exactly each. One, yeah. And he was doing that. And um, he had to. He was stopping for breath, the conditioner at one. A <laughs> little, little bit of breath in it. And, and Lee said that... Few people can, can can compete with that strength and conditioner at it. So, you know, what, what, you know, look, he's 29, but he's got that that, that man strength. So that, that's that's a big advantage already in his favour. But there's still a lot to work on. It's all like the complete opposite side of the scale because obviously they've got Jack Catterall's in the gym, and he's 21, 22, and he, he's he's doing really well for himself. And yeah. he, and they like they say, oh, we might not have the manpower, but. Jack's got it, and it looks like this guy has it as well. Yeah, because well, Jack, it, it Jack's aims. getting stronger and stronger. And you know, you funny you mentioned Jack Cattrall there. The number of fighters I know who was sparred with Jack, who say when they first sparred with him, they, they didn't think he was that great, but he's just got better and better. Mm. He's one of those boxers, Jack, who's just improving and improving with every single fight that um, he, ha he has. So, you know, we're hoping that the same happens with Virginia, but you'd imagine there must be a lot of pressure on Virginia Singh, Sonny. I mean, exactly. I was looking at his Twitter and there's not ma massive following, but on his Facebook, it's 1.2 million, million likes or and followers. That is nuts. Like you said about Twitter, I'm sure you've been quite busy in there, so you haven't had a chance. Right now, he's trending on Indian Twitter, and it's not some. You could see in there that when he was asked, "Oh, do you think your country is still going to back you?" He said he replied with, "If they're my true friends, they're going to back me because I've just looked on Twitter and there's a lot, a lot of hate going on because he was like, I think he was like their only sort of medal winner at the last Olympics, That's, he's only and the Olympics man. is a big thing out there for them. Yeah, what? And they're, they're outraged that he's left them. It seems like he's dropped the country out. Yeah. And they can't believe it. There's also because I think there was the temptation to go to 2016, and of course, yeah. you know, India yeah, hasn't washed with medals, so they're, they're the genuine medal hope. So, you know, and they're, they're a very passionate and patriotic people, but um, we've just interviewed him in there for Box Nation, and when he flies home to Delhi tomorrow, he will say, we'll get to the airport, and he'll be mobbed by press, and um, I just spoke to Richard Maynard, Frank Warren's press officer, and he said the interest is phenomenal. We, this afternoon, he's got a load of Skype messages, and Richard has said if he sees another plus nine one, which is the country code for him, you're on his <laughs> phone, he'll just break the phone. <laughs> No, no, not Richard. You don't want to mess with Richard. Richard's hard, man. Rich, too hard, Maynard. That's he what is they exactly what it is. And it, like you said, like I said, you come a bit casual today, and you said it's too hot. But Maynard, wind, rain, shine. Oh, look. He's in a suit. Let me off a suit for once. I'm no. always in a suit at every press conference. So you got to let me off there, Mister. I let you off. It's casual it's, Mondays. Yeah. Next, next time when I see you next week or a week after, whenever we're going to be a press conference with Andy Lee and Billy Joe, yeah. I'll be immaculate. That's and if you're in Ireland, the end of the week, you'll see me. Definitely, I will. Speaking of Ireland, show coming up in Dublin at the end of the week. What's, what's happening there? Are you going out there? Yeah, I'm going out there on, on Wednesday. Going to do some filming with Frank Bullioni on Wednesday and some of the guys from the Celtic Warrior Gym. And then on Thursday, there's the press conference for that fight for the, for the card on Saturday night that Frank Warren and Queensbury Promotions have got in association with the MGM boys who kindly sponsor iFilm TV and do so much for you and also for boxing. They do a lot because they're... Um, 
They're promoting yeah, so some... many shows, so many, so many good fighters, and the facilities are second to none. And I'm really looking forward to seeing Jamie Connell in action uh, this weekend. And um, I, I got, I'd like to see him and Paul Butler fight later this year. You know, Paul's, you know, whether Jamie's going to go that route. I know that's a fight Paul fancies, but let's see what Jamie does this weekend on his Box Nation debut. And also Tommy Langford, who's making really, really good progress. Um, a lot of people getting excited about Tommy. He's fighting for an international title. He's a nice man as well, Tommy. Very nice fella. And of course, he's now, I think he's the only f professional fighter that Tom Chaney trains now that Frankie Gammy's moved yeah, to Max yeah. McCracken. So we'll see how he's going to go this weekend. Yeah. And Ryan Burnett's on that bill, uh, the little a Irish bantamweight. I think he is, he could be the, you know, there's obviously there's, there's a lot of good Irish amateurs coming through. And Adam Booth don't take anyone. Adam, Adam Booth don't take anyone. And I am so excited about Ryan Burnett. Um, you know what, he, he come to this, he come to England when he was 18 and he went to Ricky Hatton's gym. Um, and for a year there was one problem or another and he couldn't get his license. And not once did he give up or think, I'm just going home. Yeah. He carried on training and training every day. It didn't work out quite as well as it did with Ricky, but I think you know it all left on good terms. And now he's with Adam and every time I see him, I get more and more impressive. I think he's a, I think he's a special talent. and. If he doesn't win a world title, I'll be shocked. And as well for a young man, he's got a lot of dedication to the sport. He's hardly ever home. After his last fight, I interviewed him uh, when he knocked the guy out. At your call, wasn't at it? your call. And he, he he left the interview, went downstairs, and he just hugged his dad and broke down in tears. You know what? I was I was on the stage. I saw that moment. I was yeah. just going to say was, that oh, next. Oh, it's the exact same. And then he went up, we went up back onto the balcony and watched the rest of the exactly show that. quietly. Just of Adam Booth. Next day, I was back in camp. You know, some of these fighters go home for a week. You know, even Virginia today, he wants to go home for a couple of weeks, see his son and wife for it. He was straight back in camp in exactly. Monaco. And I'm really excited about Ryan Burnett. I don't know what you think of him, whether I'm getting I, overexcited I or what, but I think he, he's a special talent. Like you said, Adam Booth, as much as he is a great trainer, he doesn't take anyone. He won't, it's not any but old oh, geezer comes into the gym. Can you show me? Go on then. No, he, he doesn't take anyone. He, you know, he split with fighters before. And, you know, look, Adam isn't uh, everyone's cup of tea, I don't think, in boxing. But everything he does and every decision he makes, it's what he, he makes for the good of his fighter. That there's, there's no doubt and, about. And he's, he's very real as well. He say it how it is. No matter if, you're, if you, you could win a world title. And if you fucked up in one round, he'd let you know that you he fucked would, up in yeah. that round. I mean, I, 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 I've known Adam a lot. Um, known Adam a lot years um, since the early David A days and he's always been his own man as well. Exactly that. Well Steve, keep wearing the shades because you look good. It's a pleasure. But the truth is, <laughs> these are yours, a teenager's shades. I'm 53 years of age. I'm 50, yeah, 53 now the other month so I can't get away with wearing Steve them. Steve Ray-Ban Lillis, I like it, I love it. I'll get some for three now. Oh, don't plug it, don't start plugging. But um, I think you're a wanted man, so I'll let you go. Thanks for talking to iFilm and enjoy Dublin. Don't drink too much Guinness. I don't drink. Oh, I'm yeah. A you're just a runner. You I'm just a, runs. I'm a boy. I'll tell run. you that, this man I'm runs run. more than most boxers. I'm running. I'm writing a book on Bobby Goulding, the rugby league player, and it's going to be called A League of His Own, and it's a sensational story, Bobby's story. So he's plugged his Ray-Bans and his book. Lewis, don't tell him Mick anymore, mate. I'm <laughs> joking. Thanks for talking to iFilm.